Good morning everyone. How is everyone today? Looking forward to the weekend, or at least I am. I have been doing a lot of overtime and am quite tired. Uh, so I am very much looking forward to a couple of days of doing not so much. Um, I'm just popping in here and inviting everybody as usual and um, yeah so like I said I'm exhausted and um, usually I have a little topic planned to talk about while I do this and while I was getting ready this morning I kind of come up with two or three and now all of a sudden I seem like I'm just drawing a blank, like I could just take a nap. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, yeah, I've been doing a, we've had this really big project at work um, that we've been doing with a new product that we just launched. And uh, it's been a lot of hours of computer work, but physical work too. We have to put the boxes together and then fill the boxes and we have to fill the folders with all the papers and the folders go in the boxes and then we have to make little sample packets that go in the boxes so needless to say it's it's been a lot of work and we're getting to it down towards the end <clears throat> end of the physical part of it um i still have like a thousand sample requests to process through um but um yeah, those are not time sensitive now because we, we ship them out. Now we we, uh, we usually process them and then ship them. And because we got so many of them, we really did get slammed. Um, we did the opposite this time. We shipped them all out and then we'll uh, go back as time allows and process them all. Um, otherwise, I probably would have gone mentally insane by now. Um, but yeah, and... Um, my back is killing me. Um, I get a pain shot for my back and um, it wore off <laughs> just about the same time that we started doing this big project. So um, <clears throat> my back has been killing me too. So it's just been a really fun couple of, couple of weeks. And so <clears throat> just tired. Um, I wasn't sure what we were going to talk about today because I usually do kind of like to leave a couple of days open in case somebody has something that they want to talk about. And, um, but nobody really said anything about anything they wanted to talk about. So, my first thought was <clears throat> I was going to do something fun with you. Well, hopefully, all everything I do with you is in some way is fun, but, um, I thought maybe we do a project or perfuming or something like that. But then I realized that um, this weekend is actually Easter. <coughs> and so I figured um, I would touch base on Easter a little bit for you. So Easter um, is a Christian holiday. Um, it is when um, Jesus... Um, rose um, after his um, crucifixion and um, this rising um, basically established him as the son of God um, so that is what Easter um, is in honor of uh, is is Jesus Christ rising from his crucifixion um, but a lot of people would always say, well, yeah, but how in Easter did we get Easter eggs and the Easter bunny? And how does that all relate to um, the rising of Jesus Christ? Um, well, it doesn't really. <laughs> that was the pagan um, part of the holiday that kind of got, because um, um, we talked about Ostara. Um, a little while ago and um, the goddess Ostara and how her symbols of fertility were eggs and a rabbit and so um, 
Christians to kind of um, take that holiday into their own holiday, um, somehow or another incorporate it into, um, took Ostara, which is the rebirth in springtime and the rising of Jesus Christ and kind of merged them together. Um, the only thing that really, in my mind, that kind of links them together is there is a form of rebirth in there. Um, sorry, I still have this stupid head cold too, on top of everything else, um, is rebirth. Um, so spring is all about rebirth of the plants and it's all about, um, you know, the animals having their babies. And, um, and then Easter is the rebirth or the rising of Jesus Christ. And I always joke that that made him a zombie, but <laughs> nobody thinks it's funny but me, I guess. So and if you come back from the dead, you're a zombie. Um, so um, that's where that kind of goes together for me. That's pretty much it, um, that it's about the rebirth. Um, I'm so sorry here bear with me and um and my washing machine's going and it's making a clinking sound so you get to even listen to that too <laughs> i should have got up and turned it off before i started but so um i know a lot of you are going to be celebrating easter um this weekend and you are going to do all the typical um probably hide the easter eggs the Easter Bunny is going to come at my house when I grew up. Um, the Easter Bunny used to come and leave a basket full of goodies. And then um, we would um, run around the house and find all the little chocolate Easter eggs that were hid all over the house. Um, so I'm sure um, a lot of you will be doing something similar to that. Um, I don't have little ones here anymore, so I don't do that. Um, but I did put out a few little things. I put out a little bunny and I put out some springy colored ribbon stuff. Um, I didn't get too crazy um, for Easter because um, um, it's really more Ostara for me. But um, my family um, celebrates Easter. So um, I'm like the only one in my family that celebrates Ostara. <laughs> so um, everybody else in my family celebrates Easter. So um, I, I don't go into Easter being like, Easter's a fake holiday, which is kind of how I feel. But um, everybody has the right to their own beliefs and to celebrate how they want to celebrate. And sometimes it does take me a little reminding that um, <clears throat> they have that right and I can't stop on it. Because <laughs> um, I do tend to get a little... Uh, defensive I guess sometimes about the holidays and, and where they came from and how they came about because I feel like um, I don't ever want to impose my beliefs on anybody and I kind of feel like which was like a long long time ago that Christians kind of came in and imposed their religion on everybody and um, wanted everybody to be Christian nobody should be pagan um, the pagan holidays were no good the Pagan gods were no good. Everything was, if you weren't Christian, you were bad. Um, but again, I have to remind myself that was a really long time ago. <laughs> and and all those people are dead. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's very strong with me that, and so I don't know if that was a past life issue um, for me. I don't know. I, I often wonder about why why certain people have certain little things that they do um, and if it's past lives this is kind of off topic here a little bit but like have you ever noticed how somebody's like really drawn to either like the 20s or I'm really drawn to um, that Viking age um, my mom when I was growing up was very drawn to depression glass and it's like was there something there in a past life that she got or didn't get that she's trying to get now or um, she had it and she's trying to get it back now or like those things cross my mind. It's like, why are certain people drawn to 
certain time frames and certain things um, from the past. And it's like, I always think it, it's, I think it's a past life somehow. Um, but I'll probably never figure it out. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> so, um, like I said, Easter is this weekend. That's what I'm trying to talk about, getting off track. Um, and so a lot of you will probably be having, um, you know, a big Easter dinner um, and uh, doing the Easter egg hunt thing and, and all that happy stuff. Um, so if you are celebrating Easter, happy Easter. <laughs> um, if you don't celebrate Easter and you are celebrate and you celebrated Ostara, um, <clears throat> like I did, um, you can still join in on the Easter activities. It's, it's not going to be like, Ooh, you can't do that. You can. There's no right or wrong way. If you feel called to do it, do it. If you don't feel called to do it, don't do it. That's, that's simple for me. That's the simple, simple rule for me. Um, so in that connection, I, I did have a direction I was going. In that connection of Ostara and spring and rebirth and the rising of Jesus Christ, that uh, rebirth, um, so I wanted to just take a few minutes and say that, you know, maybe um, this time of rebirth in spring is kind of a good time for us to also have our own little rebirth. Um, I'm not suggesting anybody kill themselves and rise because that's not going to work um, or I don't think it's going to work. Not my suggestion. My suggestion is to take a little bit of time and to kind of just... Not necessarily meditate. Um, if you if you want to meditate, you certainly can. Um, but just take a little bit of time over the next couple of days. So it's Thursday. So like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, take the next four days or so, and kind of think about um, some of the things that we could let go. Because I definitely have a list of things that I can let go. Um, some of the things that is fear, and pain, and sadness, and anger. Um, anger is a one for me that I am working on. I've been working on it for a while. Um, I have a lot of anger issues <clears throat> when people push my buttons. And um, sometimes it's really easy for people to push my buttons. Other times it doesn't bother me at all. Um, but I think, again, I, I on the topic, I think that was a past life thing for me. I think something happened in a past life. Um, because on all these classes that I take and stuff, they're like, oh, something happened as a child. And I'm like, no. I mean, I had a pretty decent childhood. Um, I mean, I wasn't showered in gifts or anything. I had rules and, and stuff. I had decent parents. Um, took us on vacations. Fed me, roofed me. Took, you know, we went to the movies. We went shopping. We did, we did normal things family stuff. <clears throat> so I was like, no, it's, it doesn't root from there. And then, you know, so, uh, cause a lot of uh, the things that we deal with as an adult are rooted back to <clears throat> when we were kids. And, um, you know, everybody in my group is really, my other group that I'm in for my classes is really helpful. And they're like, well, maybe it was this and maybe it was this. And it's like, no, it's none of those things. <laughs> none of those things resonate with me. That doesn't, so I think that my anger comes from a past life. Um, and again, like I get really angry <laughs> about the Christians taking the pagan holidays. Um, so maybe there's a connection there that I haven't put together. Or I don't know. <laughs> but it does really, that really like makes me angry. And I don't know why, because I try to be non-judgmental and stuff. And it's like, but I do know, I'm like, all those people are dead. <clears throat> they're they're dead they're um you know uh all the people that i'm talking to here uh whether you're um catholic methodist um buddhist uh hinduism whatever um don't mind the dog over there moving it's not a creepy blanket there's a puppy under there um that you know um your religion is your religion and you're more than welcome to um 
it and I'm not going to try to change your views on it. So um, anyway, it's my issue. And so um, things for letting go, <laughs> again, you know, um, fear is something to let go of. Um, living your life in fear is um, <clears throat> not a good way to live. I did that for a little while in my um, late teens um, with my the, the father of my children. And um, so um, if you're living in that kind of fear, my advice to you is remove yourself from the situation that you are fearful from. Um, that's a good way to get rid of fear is remove yourself from the situation. If you are uh, with somebody who makes you feel fear, then you need to not be in that relationship. Um, pain. Um, we can't always let go of um, physical pain. It's not that easy. Um, but um, emotional pain and sadness, um, you know, are things that we can um, work on letting go as well as the anger. And as you let those things go, think of it as like um, your body is a container. And so now you've taken all that stuff out and now you're going to fill it all back up with um, peace and joy and happiness and hope and kindness and love. Um, maybe throw in some passion in there, you know. Um, so, and um, you'll find that um, sometimes it takes a reminder. So maybe every day you have to do your little visual of um, throwing everything out of your bucket, <laughs> so to speak, and, and then filling everything back in um, is a little visual you could could do to remind yourself. But you'll find it gets easier and easier. And the more you um, live your day-to-day -day life um, looking for beauty and joy and hope and kindness and happiness, the easier it will come to you. Um, and the people around you will pick up on that and also um, start to kind of um, tune into your vibration that you're giving off. Um, and so the hope is that, you know, um, is that I'm going to teach you a, a way to live a happier, better life. And by you going out and doing this, um, you know, people around you are going to notice the change in you and they're going to want to um, be that change as well because they're going to see that you're happy and that you're enjoying life. And um, no matter what you do, you just seem to be, um, you know, grateful and honored to have whatever it is you have or be experiencing whatever you're experiencing. And people around you that are seeing this are going to want to be, um, be the same. So they're going to want to... Um, do what you're doing and, and it's going to just keep spreading so then you've kind of um maybe shown this other person now how to do this and then they're going to go show other people how to do it and, it, and it's going to just keep going and um because right now our planet um we're coming up on mother's day and, and I, my mother's day um is is going to be a little bit different um we're still going to honor my mom because she's my mom um but we're going to, I'm going to also honor mother earth. Mother earth right now is in some serious need of some help. Um, you know, we have a lot going on in our planet. Um, so again, physically for her, um, you know, there is some serious crap going on. Um, and also emotionally, um, happy pink full moon to you too. It's tomorrow, right? the 19th. I think Athena's um, full moon ritual is tonight, but the, I think the full moon is actually tomorrow. Wait, I have my chart right here. Um, yeah, the 19th, so it's actually tomorrow. So, yeah, so, um, sorry, totally off track. <laughs> I, I've been very scatterbrained in my in my tiredness. Um, so yeah, so back to um, your own little rebirth. Um, so 
like I said, spend the next couple of days. Um, you know, you got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday before it's Easter. And so you could, these are a couple of good days to take um, your time and think about um, all the things that you can kind of let go out of your life and um, the things that you can choose to um, let in instead. Um, you know, I kind of have a saying that um, happiness is a choice. Um, and I mean, that's putting it really pretty um, generic statement, you know, because a lot of people come to me and say, it's not a choice, but I'm sad and I'm lonely and all these things. And I'm like, okay, so you're, this is kind of connected into the rebirth of you in a weird way. Um, but if you are um, always sad and you're just like, but I'm always sad. I'm always lonely. Nobody wants to be around me. Well, with that kind of an attitude, probably nobody does want to be around you. And I don't say that to be mean. I say that to be honest with you um, so that you can, you can see that and change that. Um, because, uh, and I've said this before in other videos and stuff, if you're sitting at a party and there's this gorgeous guy or girl or whatever that's been looking at you across the room and um, they finally come over to approach you and you're sitting there talking to somebody about, I'm so sad, I'm so depressed, nothing in my life is good, blah, 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 blah. That guy or girl is going to be like, whoa, wait a minute, I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with that. So that's because that's what you're putting out. So you're putting out into the world that you're lonely and you're sad and, and nothing good happens to you. So that's kind of what's going to happen. Um, so when I say happiness is a choice, I don't mean like you're just going to wake up tomorrow and be like, I've decided I'm happy and everything is great. Um, but you do, you have to do the work in it. Um, but, you know, it is a choice. You have to wake up every day and it's going to be hard and it's going to take work. And there's going to be days that you're going to have setbacks because we're human and that's what happens. Um, but every day you have to get up. And like I said, whether it's a visualization of um, taking like there's goes fear, there goes pain, there goes sadness, there goes loneliness. And now I'm going to fill that up with happiness and um, passion and love and kindness and all those things. Um, if you have to do a visualization you know, great, do that. Um, or if it's just, you know, um, a little meditation that you do every morning. Um, you know, another thing you could do is take your um, mala beads and do something with those, make a little affirmation and do that. Um, I have other people in, in the groups that I'm in have um, lined their mirror in the that, you know, when they get ready in the bathroom, their mirror, they've lined their mirror with sticky notes that, you know, have little, well, today is love, today is kindness, um, I am awesome, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, um, so that they see those every morning. Um, there's lots of different things that you can do. Um, pick an object, something that somebody gave you um, that makes you um, feel happiness. And um, so whenever you see that object and don't put it in a drawer put it somewhere where you're gonna see it and um, so whenever you see that it's a little reminder um, to be happy and and to let go of that fear or sadness um, because again back to that situation in the party um, if that guy or girl who's been eyeballing you is now starting to approach you and you're sitting there talking about how great your day was and how um, how much fun you had doing this or how you enjoyed doing this or whatever, they're going to approach you and they're going to, um, you know, uh, maybe, you know, ask you out or end up in a relationship or whatever. Who knows what could happen from there. But when you're being um, Debbie Downer, um, they're going to not even get to you. They're going to get to right here and they're going to turn around and go back that way because they're just like, I'm not dealing with that. Um, so that's what you're putting out there. If you're putting out loneliness and sadness and that's kind of what you're going to get back. 
Um, so you have to make that choice every day to get up and try to be happy and try to be, um, you know, try to live your life with joy and kindness and happiness and all those great words that we like to use. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, so that's your little rebirth project over the next couple of days. If so, you choose to accept my challenge. <laughs> um, but it's not for me. Um, and there's, you know, if you're doing this work, I 99% of the time, I don't know who's out there um, doing the work and who's not doing the work. And um, it, there's no ego for me in this. I'm not like, Ooh, I made such and such as life a better life. Um, I mean, I hope I'm making people's lives better, um, even if it's just a little teeny bit. Um, I'm not going to make you all of a sudden a millionaire and the happiest person on the planet. Um, but, you know, maybe I can help turn some things around for you. And then you, but you have to do the work. You have to go do it. Um, so I'm just here to uh, point point out to you that there is a different path if you so choose to take it. Um, sorry, my back is killing me. And sitting on the floor right now is just really not good. Um, <clears throat> as Jen mentioned, I did have it written down here in my little notes to um, remember that the full moon is coming up. Um, so just a reminder to take your crystals <clears throat> um, and put them out if you can. Um, I don't put mine outside, um, first of all, because I just have a lot of them. <laughs> to take them outside would be a lot of work. Um, but also because I have a lot of um, wildlife around here, and I'm afraid they'd probably disappear. Um, so I do have, I'm lucky enough that in my bedroom, I have five huge windows, and um, it is right where the moon comes up. So um, my dresser is right there under the window. So I put them all on my dresser. Um, a reminder, if you um, have a jar, fill it up with some water and make some um, moon water. Um, what I like to do is um, my, my dresser, I'd like to put the moon, the jar with the moon water to the back and kind of put all the crystals on like the three sides of it. So as the crystals are charging, the moon water is in the middle and, and charging as well. But again, there's no right or wrong way. You do it however you feel. If you wanna take your crystals outside, you certainly can. Um, some people choose to put their crystals into their moon water. Just remember if you do that, be cautious of which crystals you're using um, because some of them can be um, a little toxic so if you're going to drink your moon water, um, you know, be cautious of that. Um, the other thing is some of your crystals will actually, water will harm them. Um, so if you're going to make um, moon water just with crystals, just be a little bit aware of what crystals you can and can't use. Um, and if you're not sure, you can always just ask me, pop, pop in a comment or a question, private message me, however you want, I don't care, and ask me and I can you know, let you know, no, don't use that, or yeah, that's fine to use. Um, I can't go over every crystal because we'd be here for days. Um, so, um, so full moon, yeah. And, you know, it's really a good time, too, of, you know, um, full moon of setting some intentions um, and letting go of some stuff as well. So um, that kind of all will kind of coincide with this, this next couple of days, the moon energy of, what we're, what we're talking about today. Um, so hopefully that has some meaning for you. Hopefully that resonates with you and, uh, hopefully it'll be something you will want to, uh, to work on. Jen, I know, um, you're in the same classes as me and, and we're working on this stuff every day, all day long. So I know Jen is, uh, definitely somebody who's working on this stuff with me and, um, uh, She's a good a good uh, friend in my group. We keep each other going. <laughs> we remind of stuff that we're missing. Pay attention. <laughs> um, so, um, 
Yeah, so um, just a little, you know, reminder of the rebirth. Um, and, um, you know, maybe it's a good time to take up some yoga. Um, maybe it's a good time to um, start picking up some meditation if you haven't already. Um, or if you have, you know, when kind of let it fall off, maybe it's a good time to restart that, the rebirth of it. Um, so um, I, I wanted to do yoga and and I can't because of my back. Um, the last time I tried to do yoga, I like did a lot of damage to my back. <laughs> so um, I can't do the yoga. But somebody suggested um, last night in class that um, there's now, um, or maybe there's always been, I just wasn't aware of it, is that there's actually a um, chair yoga you can do. So I'm going to look into that today to see if that's something I can do. Um, so there's always a way if, if the, if you want to try something and you can't do it the way everybody else does it, um, just keep asking. Cause that's what I did. I just kept asking and, and somebody gave me an answer and I'm going to give it a shot and try it. Um, so, um, so tomorrow's the full moon on the 20th. We are going into, um, the Zodiac of the Taurus. Um, so I will be putting that um, link up for you from Athena. Um, just a reminder, again, that those videos from hers, from the um, the Zodiac sign, the astrology, are old. So if she's talking about um, a class or something coming up, um, those are not um, any good. Um, but I really feel, even though they're older videos... I really feel the information about the signs in there are, are the, the zodiac and the astrology. I feel that that information is good. So um, that's why I'm going to share them. And again, I want you guys to get um, different perspectives other than just mine. Um, you know, like I, I say all the time, I have two or three um, different way, people that I learn from. Athena at Sage Goddess is one of them. Um, I also like to, um, when I have time, to watch um, the videos from the um, Enchanted Sisters. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, and there's different, there's a ton out there on YouTube. Um, some that you have to pay for, some that you don't. Um, and so you just need to find somebody that you're comfortable with and that, uh, you know, resonates with you. When I first started watching videos, um, I watched all these different videos where these people were just I'm like, oh my God, I can't stand listening to her. But I wanted the information. And um, so I kept looking and looking and looking until I found um, a couple. Uh, and I found Athena. And then I found um, the Enchanted Sisters, which uh, I enjoy watching them and learning from them. Um, so there's <clears throat> lots out there. Um, and, and maybe the two that I'm learning from are not two that are going to resonate with you. Um, so maybe you'll find some other groups. And that's great. But again, I just, I don't want you to just learn from me. Um, there are lots of different points of view out there. I do try to cover different points of view and I do try not to push my beliefs on anybody. Um, sometimes that's a little hard, um, but you know, I try. <laughs> and if I am telling you something, I will try to tell you that that's my belief in that. And, but you know, you, you can, you do you. That's another one of my sayings. <laughs> I have all these little sayings that just, you know, you do you. You do what makes you feel good for you. All right. So um, I have to go to work, unfortunately. I don't get to stay here and, and just talk with you guys and play crystals. You know what? I totally, like, did not smudge or do candles or pull cards or anything today. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? I told you guys. I'm so tired. Um... Like I said, I got um, this stupid head cold still. Um, I my shot for my back wore off, and we've been super crazy at work. So, yeah, like it's been an awesome couple of weeks for me. Um, so just really tired. All right, so this is what we pulled for last week. So we're gonna put that back in the deck. And I'm not going to obviously light the candle now or smudge now. Um, that one jumped right out at me. 
it jumps out at you. T that's the one you need to pay attention to. All right, so get that back in the box. All right, so what did we pull? We pulled Soul Memory. All right, so again, can't read. Um, find the balance and beauty in being present while drinking from the wisdom of the past. There is gold to be mined from what no longer is and precious nuggets to be tilled from what is hidden. Sojourn in the deep. Travel. I don't know if I said that right. For a while, back for travel. Yeah, I don't know. Sojourn in the deep. Travel. For a while. Back in time to receive the lessons still active for you. The greatest gift awaits you when you give yourself permission to go back and within to retrieve them. You cannot live in your memory, but it is a good but it is good and advised to visit. I'll take a picture of that real quick so we can get that up on the group page for you. Whoa, what is on my phone? Too many open windows. Last night, my nose was so stuffed up, I kept waking up. <laughs> not that you guys want to know, but um, I just could not breathe through my nose. And so I was breathing through my mouth all night. So I apologized to my husband because I was probably snoring and keeping him awake. But then I was waking up because my mouth was so dry from breathing through my mouth that I was having a hard time breathing because my mouth was so dry. So... Yeah, if I'm a little off my game, <laughs> I apologize. Um, but yeah, it's going to get better. So i um, going to go ahead and sign off. And uh, hope everybody has a great weekend. I'll see you guys all on Tuesday. Um, you know, remember to kind of think about some things you can let go and um, think about Tossing all that stuff out and uh, filling up with some some good stuff instead. Uh, I hope everybody that's celebrating Easter has a good Easter. Um, for me, it's all about just spending some time with my family. I don't really care what the holiday is. <laughs> if the kids come around, we get to spend some time together and have a meal together and stuff. That's great for me. Um, I really don't care um, what the reason is for that. I'll take it. Um, so I hope everybody has a great Easter, great weekend, and um, remember to be kind because, you know, your kindness could not only change your day, but it could change someone else's day as well. So uh, lots of love. Thanks for watching.